So good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the fourth webinar of our conclave, Prerna the Makers Week. This event is organized by the ESL of Pfizer Kolkata. Here we invite eminent speakers from various fields to speak about their inspiring journeys. This seminar is based on the theme The Art of Teaching featuring Dr. H.C. Verma. Padma Shri Professor H.C. Verma is perhaps one of the most recognized faces among millions of Indian students due to his renowned book Concepts of Physics. A former pro professor at IIT Kanpur, he has devoted his life to teaching students the fundamentals of science and maths. He has evolved his own teaching methodology with innovative classroom experiments which he propagates under Anveshika. He has also spread the joy of learning to young children under his Shiksha's Open scheme. We are truly honored to have Dr. Verma at our event. This event will be moderated by our senior Mr. Siddhikant Mishra. So without further ado, I request Siddhikant Bhaiya to take over and begin the session. Thank you so much, Pavani. Uh... Uh, good afternoon, everyone present over here. Uh, let's uh, begin the interview. We are, we are very thrilled to have uh, Professor Verma with us today from uh, IIT Kanpur. Uh, so I'd like to start off with asking uh, your motivation to pursue teaching as a career in particular. Now that we've also got to know your other side uh, of the story as well, that uh, you, are, you are a lot into research at IIT Kanpur as well. Uh, so, uh, but still, uh, just, just since your career started off from the teaching side of things, uh, we would like to ask, uh, was it something that you wanted to do pr pr from a very early age of uh, your career or your schooling or something like that? Or like it developed over time? So. It was from the very beginning. And uh, as uh, I did not have much exposure to different fields, uh, we had we are very lower middle class kind of family we were. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no... And a small town also, Patna was also not that developed that time. So there was uh, nothing I knew about other things. Right. So even in the middle school level, class 7, 8, 9 level, at that level itself. So in my school, uh, I, we had very good teachers. The school was called Ram Mohan Dai Seminary. And uh, we had very good teachers. But despite that, I used to score very, very badly in all the examinations, class 7, 8, 9. <laughs> but somehow, somehow I was uh, really fascinated by the way my teachers were uh, delivering things and, and interacting. And chemistry people were uh, at least uh, once in a month, they will take us to a big hall where galleries were there. And the full 45 minutes will be demonstrations of various things making of oxygen and uh, this and that so so those things really fascinated me mm -hmm. and uh, from that time that seed of uh, uh, this uh, teaching was uh, sown in my mind mm -hmm. and uh, it it just uh, became stronger and stronger and stronger with time and by the time i was in class 11 12 firmly i knew that i have to do teaching by that time, I, I knew that there are something called IITs and students appear for that, very prestigious and uh, you know, all the uh, all the bright stars go for that and it's a kind of a certification. If you pass IIT, JE examination, it's a certification that yes, you are excellent. All those things uh, were known to me when I came to class 11, Patna Science College. But uh, I was absolutely, by that time, uh, the roots were so deeply uh, installed in my mind that uh, I never appeared for JE. I did not fill the form. I straight away went for BSc and the PhD program. And that is nice. how the teaching started. Ah, nice, nice, nice. And sir, uh, moving from your, uh, uh, from your plus two into your uh, bachelor's degree and then so on and so forth uh, till you became a full-fledged professor at IIT, throughout the journey of uh, pursuing a career in teaching and research, uh, did you face any particular hurdles that sort of could have deviated you from uh, uh, you know, pursuing this? <laughs> absolutely no, absolutely no. Nice. So I it was a strong motivation from the start. Right. So, even yeah. if there were hurdles, uh, they were insignificant. To, in front of my determination to become a teacher. I see. I see. That's really that's really great. <laughs> I see. I see. 
So, sir, uh, so uh, coming to the next question, uh, so many of us uh, students would like to, students and professors, of course, would like to know your thoughts on uh, undergraduate physics curriculum in general. Uh, 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 like uh, right now, uh, with the given advancements that we are having in basic sciences in physics in particular, uh, do you th do you think uh, uh, at present uh, the curriculum that we have there should be any changes that you'd like to see uh, getting incorporated uh, uh, as ta as time goes by or uh, at present the sort of curriculum we have at set is something which is really uh, set in stone and really good for students who want to get into uh, physics. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah. In fact, uh, it's not uh, hard and fast. It's not like NCRT. Okay, mm -hmm. so different institutes uh, have tune, different, yeah. tune the curriculum according to their own expertise, mm -hmm. you know, people involved and so on. So that's okay. That is being taken care of. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other thing is, if I go for uh, general mass education at bachelor's level in India, right. it's not the curriculum uh, as such. Basically, the philosophy is is uh, is to be revised. The philosophy of teaching why we are teaching these things okay. why we are teaching uh, classic mm -hmm. mechanics or quantum mechanics or statistical mechanics okay right. so that uh, since uh, the faculty involved in general i'm now mm -hmm. talking of because through six as upon i'm in contact with very 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 uh, uh, small uh, colleges where facilities are really minimal the faculty mm -hmm. and the number is huge that number is really huge in kanpur university itself uh, i don't remember so how many how many colleges are there maybe some three four thousand degree colleges are there where the bsc mm -hmm. is there. but of those three four thousand colleges hardly there are 10 or 12 colleges where we have uh, regular classes Mm -hmm. okay, regular classes. Yes. What happens in the class is a very different story. Okay, but <laughs> classes are being held. That number is hardly ten to fifteen out of those yes. three thousand. So right. that is uh, that is and uh, those things where those, those colleges where these classes are held there also, whatever is the syllabus mm, that is being taught, uh, mm -hmm. keeping the examination in mind. So university yes. will conduct yes. the examination and all these colleges uh, will have the same question paper. So, mm -hmm. so keeping that in mind, uh, students are trained mm -hmm. to, to, to appear in that examination and pass the examination. That I philosophy see. has to be changed. I That's see. why of learning. The important right. thing, right. why do you do research? Okay, And, and mm -hmm. uh, who is a good researcher who finally contributes? Okay. It's not a it's not a kind of a preparation for a job. You do good research only when you enjoy, yeah, right. when you are thrilled, when you are excited, and mm -hmm. that training of being excited mm -hmm. might come something new, something very fundamental, right. something you never knew, and now you right. come to know, and that excitement, and then if you can add something to that, right. those things should be included in our UG teaching. That is more important, whatever be the curriculum. I see, I see. Uh, sir, uh, j just as a follow up question to that, uh, uh, so, sir, if there, there's, there are students, of course, who enjoy the subject immensely uh, through, through, through the teaching, through the material that's provided during the curriculum, but due to some reason or the other, when they have some sort of uh, financial backlog from, from, their, uh, from their family side, uh, like uh, pursuing a career in research so, sort of becomes tough for them because they have to immediately provide uh, to their family as soon as they graduate. Uh, so for these kind of students, what would your message be? Uh, so uh, like if they have to, if they genuinely want to uh, pursue research at a higher level uh, versus, uh, you know, getting a job and actually, uh, you know, well, start up. So that's yeah, something. I if you I don't know if there can, if we can uh, suggest some general guidelines or like huh? that. Is Just that a message. Uh, individual. It, it is case to case. case to, my brother, David Prasad who huh? just expired a few months ago at the age of 87 years, he did not have uh, any kind of help from the family. Okay. 
Thanks. And there was an agreement in my father and my elder brother when uh, he was in intermediate. Mm -hmm. we, we, that time we were really, really very, very poor. And the agreement yes. was the family will not provide any money to, Professor, to Devi Prasad Verma for pursuing bachelors and masters. And in turn, in turn, the family will not expect anything from Devi Prasad Verma uh, <laughs> while he is, he is, he is studying. Oh. Okay, there was dire need. The family was uh, in such a situation. My brother himself wanted not to study further after mm -hmm. he can do some job, some clerk, something, mm -hmm. and, and help the family. We were in that condition. But then my father was uh, also very keen that no, if he is uh, able to study, since he was, my brother was a brilliant uh, student. Uh, throughout his schooling, mm -hmm. he scored uh, first or second in the class. Uh, and therefore my father saw that, okay, this he had the potential. Mm -hmm. to, and therefore he, he allowed him to, okay, go, go, go. I will not yeah. able to give you the fees. I will not mm -hmm. able to give you the hostel charges. But mm -hmm. uh, if you can, if you can. And my yeah. brother, uh, in fact, uh, enrolled in the hostel and then uh, joined the mess with the written uh, commitment that he will not take dinners okay. and he will not take breakfasts. <laughs> okay. Oh <my> <laughs> I so see, that I see. was the condition, and my brother uh, topped in masters. He, he had two gold medals uh, from Patna University, one for uh, uh, securing the first position in in the class, and then all the master courses, chemistry, biology, whatever mm -hmm. economics, and among all those master uh, courses in that particular session, he was uh, the highest scorer. So one more gold medal. And of course, both the gold medal he donated to, to Dr. Rajan Prasad when China was broke. Wow. Oh so <laughs> it depends. It depends yeah. on, the, on, on the family, it depends on your condition, your determination, your readiness. Mm -hmm. So all those things are there. The hurdles will be there. Hurdles. The financial hurdles will be there. But then, okay, fine. The, the, it's, it's part of the life. <laughs> 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 Right. 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 Case to case. Okay. Uh, and sir, uh, again, uh, if, uh, just coming back uh, to the curriculum, uh, sir, particularly for the students uh, who are who are from uh, from schools who have joined us today. Uh, so uh, the question that uh, they they have in their minds is something uh, to do with uh, their high school education. Uh, there's been a lot of focus. Uh, particularly on grilling students towards entrance examinations, uh, uh, scoring well in uh, exams so that they can uh, get better opportunities uh, after graduating. But uh, because of this, they lack certain th things in a way, in the sense of being well-rounded, of being of having a holistic uh, development as as a person. Uh, in their high school, in their formative years, the, because uh, these, uh, if there isn't a, ho a holistic kind of uh, development at at such a young age, it it has a lasting impact uh, throughout uh, the person's uh, future. So, uh, so would you, uh, uh, so so could I have your thoughts on uh, this thing? So, do you think uh, high school should be at, uh, like sort of? Uh, um, Grill towards uh, the, this entrance examination kind of uh, uh, you know training, or th there should be this holistic setting in which uh, students can grow overall. Uh, Let's see what happens when this uh, new education policy is implemented, and uh -huh. people uh, make efforts towards that. Although uh -huh. I'm very optimistic, uh, yes. the nation is not perhaps ready for uh, such changes because mm -hmm. uh, in uh, education the the most important link is the teacher right. and unless unless we have massive teachers orientation towards these uh, issues yes. okay uh, mm -hmm. bringing policies or, or doing things uh, will not finally go to the ground uh, our policy makers can do a very good job and come out with all varieties of, uh, of things holistic education and development all the development and this and that but finally, it has to reach the student via the teacher. And uh, I'm afraid if uh, there is any big effort 
to give teachers this uh, feeling or this idea mm -hmm. or, or or need uh, that such and such thing must happen and, and yeah. <laughs> because finally it is teachers who will uh, uh, yeah interact with yeah. students now yeah. entrance examination uh, is is one thing and uh, yes uh, very important in high school yeah. education so uh, in entrance examination are are, are in sight but uh, i am uh, more worried about uh, the tendency of this examination orientation at even earlier stages even as in middle school primary school yeah right yeah. there also i see that um, parents will send children for tuitions and coaching yeah. and class 3 4 5 student taking tuition yeah. 6 7 student taking tuitions so this is a very very sad uh, affair because uh, from such a, a, a tiny age mm -hmm. the student is being told that you are good for nothing you need help mm -hmm. you need tutor you need mm -hmm. assistance so mm -hmm. uh, in that uh, age of some 7 8 years 9 years 10 years 11 years if this thing is continuously pumped in the, in the mind that mm -hmm. you cannot do much you cannot do well you cannot do without assistance from others school is also not enough right? mm -hmm. those kind of things is happening in india at a mm -hmm. very large scale at a very large scale the place mm -hmm. where i live nankar is a small village near close to iit kanpur and uh, the the education is is there but not uh, not much right? but here also see in every family in every other family yeah uh, since the parent is not well educated the parent will not be able to help the the the, the ch child and therefore yeah. they will appoint some tutor or the this uh, this uh, student will go to some coaching center for yeah. class class 6 and yeah. so on this yeah. is a and coming to high school level or and this uh, higher secondary level that time uh, the pressure of the competitive examinations neat and je all these things for science maths students especially science maths uh, biology students mm -hmm. this is really making the <laughs> the student unbalanced mm -hmm. absolutely fragile psychologically fragile Mm -hmm. From the very beginning, these things are are there, but at high school level, when the JE is closed, okay. <laughs> then there is much more, much more dominating, nice. and and therefore the the learning it doesn't happen. That's the okay. biggest. Uh, okay. See, passing examination is another thing, and learning is, is different. Sure. These are two different, Sorry. and one should understand that these are two yes. different things. Okay, yeah. Yeah. a passing examination with a good score does not guarantee that you have learned. You have learned, and you have learned much does not guarantee that you will score well. Okay, so you have to. Of course, there is the same syllabus on which the examinations take place, and on which yeah. you have to. We are expected to learn. Is the same subject. Mm -hmm. So if uh, if you can uh, link them up. If mm -hmm. they, you can establish correlation between the two then then the learning will be there and the scoring will be there of course the uncertainties will always be there uncertainties will always be there on the day of examination you may get fever yeah so those kind of things will be there but yes by and large uh, the two can be linked up but if someone it is possible it's possible that one has neglected the examination and focused only in learning 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 and learning and uh, did not uh, prepare well with the uh, syllabus particular syllabus because person is well into learning mm. <laughs> and scoring badly <laughs> and the person is not at all learning but uh, he is doing some strategic uh, analysis of uh, question papers and this and that preparing and mm. scoring all everything is possible so it is this uh, aspect which has to be to be focused upon Mm -hmm. self learning is is very necessary okay too much of assistance will will uh, make you weak mm -hmm. right? even if you pass the examination right. 
because the profession uh, profession life is is much longer and there once you are in i said mm -hmm. uh, all those the all those assistance is removed mm -hmm. one fine morning mm -hmm. so if you are if you are not training the student to handle situations themselves it mm -hmm. is no good so it is this place where uh, things are to be thought of just like uh, teachers parents also need orientation in training thanks of course of course they should understand they should understand that having a good grade card from a good institution is not the guarantee of a 40 years 50 years uh, good professional life after mm -hmm. that after that because there you need all these things self learning innovative ideas uh, going for something new accepting challenges difficult mm -hmm. situations uh, then uh, you are study psychological study all those things are needed for being successful in those uh, 44 50 years of professional life uh, and, and all of that you cannot do yeah true very true very true uh, sir just uh, uh, coming back to the topic of teaching again Uh, sir, in Indian institutes, we get uh, a lot of uh, students from with different backgrounds. Different, uh, like when you when you see a class, it's it's very multilingual in some sense. Like uh, there are some students who uh, who come from Hindi medium schools, uh, Odia medium schools, or from the vernacular languages, and then uh, uh, all of a sudden come to uh, institutes where the medium of instruction is English. so you would have uh, you may have faced that when you you were dealing with uh, first year students so sir how did you mitigate that problem of uh, dealing with students who had uh, you know uh, comfort in a particular language and couldn't maybe uh, understand english properly or hindi properly yeah, yeah. so i i have a very good experience of this thing uh, <laughs> of course uh, as a professor as a faculty member at iit kanpur and mm -hmm. also as a student when i entered iit kanpur in 1975 as an msc student mm -hmm. two year msc student i yeah. faced some difficulty <laughs> I, I had, I had uh, gone through the hindi medium all all through mm -hmm. due to my bsc of course uh, this medium of writing was english mm -hmm. the books were in english i studied the books uh, from various authors which were mm -hmm. in in english so i could read english i could write english okay but then uh, conversation yeah mm -hmm. and listening to a lecture right five minutes of lecture <laughs> continuously <laughs> in english <laughs> it is not thing <laughs> absolutely very very difficult very very difficult mm -hmm. now here comes that to train here comes that school training your uh, the kind of culture that has been developed uh, in your schools mm -hmm. are you are, are you ready to handle tough situations are you ready to accept challenges mm -hmm. uh, are you capable of finding ways if there are uh, difficult situations so all those things all those qualities if uh, those things are there in you if you have uh, learned that during your school life then you can handle situation there is one difficulty that what is one difficult situation that you are saying there will be hundreds of okay. difficult situations in the life mm -hmm. okay yeah. so so fine no problem uh, i used to attend all the classes uh, without understanding anything what the teacher is saying uh, i was just keeping quiet but not not uh, diverting my mind from to this lecture to anywhere else not that i was understanding the physics that uh, the the teacher was telling but i was thinking that if i keep listening this these english words mm -hmm. if i keep li listening these uh, english sentences spoken by people which i do not understand if i keep doing that this is an opportunity for me a uh, four mm -hmm. month semester probably in one semester so many so many sentences will go to through my mind and then uh, some some pattern will be there some repetitions will be there and i will learn huh? and then the library was there and, and, and other things, the books were there okay. fine i got 10 out of 10 in the first semester itself 
Thank no, you. so difficulties will be there. Mm-hmm. Difficulties will be there, but then uh, your readiness to deal with the difficulties okay. that is important. Okay. That is important. Okay. This difficulty or that difficulty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this COVID situation, very mm-hmm. difficult situation. What do I do? Why do deal. I? We used to mm-hmm. we, we used to do this uh, national experimental skill test. This is our annual event, annual competition, mm-hmm. National Anveshika Experimental Skill Test. We are doing it for some seven, eight years. And every year we will invite the school students, the college students to participate in our program, perform the experiment, and then we will evaluate on the experimental skills and declare this for national winners through different stages. This was going on. Now, two, two, zero, two, zero. How do I do that? How would <laughs> Very difficult situation. But yes, uh, we, we met and we said that we will do it. It's a complete, lo- complete lockdown. Mm-hmm. Right? No one is, is supposed to move out of the house. We said, fine, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so we designed experiment for the first time. And we learned mm-hmm. from that. We did not that know that we have that skill. We designed physics experiments which could be done at your house with the household items only. You don't have to need go to for any kind of specialized instrument, any kind. Even grocery shop is not allowed. And still we could design experiments. And experiments means just, not just a demonstration. It's a, after all, it's a national competition. Mm-hmm. It's just not that uh, making some video of some phenomena. No. Yeah. Experiments which involves measurement, because yeah. every house has two, two measuring apparatus. <laughs> One is your mobile phone, which has a stopwatch. I'm not yeah. talking of apps. Yeah. I'm not talking of apps, but stopwatch is there. Yeah. So you can measure time. And every household where there is, there is a student participating in the competition will have that plastic six inches scale for yeah. length measurement. Yeah. Those two we could think of that, okay, fine. These two measuring operators are there everywhere. And okay. remaining things will be will be assembled and designed and, and, and done with other household items. Okay. We needed this uh, lens, focusing con- converging lens. So we said, fine, take cylindrical plastic container. Mm-hmm. So every house will have some plastic container, or if not anything, water bottles. <laughs> so like that, like that, like that. So it will involve uh, error analysis. It will involve graph plotting. It will involve mathematical calculations. It, it will involve uh, inferring from your data. All those ingredients were there. We did the the event and it was uh, the best uh, in all those seven, eight years. So difficulties will be there and newer kinds of difficulties will be there, Mm -hmm. which you have never seen. But uh, okay, fine, if you have skills, get over that. (laughs) Find your skills. Yes. Uh, sir, from a teacher's point of view, how would you say, uh, can a, a teacher try to uh, like mitigate this issue of uh, having a multilingual class? Uh, like students, of course, will deal with it. But is there anything a teacher can do? For, yeah, in fact, uh, I used to do that. I used to do it. Number one, number one, in the classroom itself, mm-hmm. uh, I, I intermittently, uh, most of, I can handle Hindi, I can handle uh, English. Nothing mm-hmm. more than that, but whatever I could. Okay, so intermittently for minute or two minutes, if I if I am asking something, some question in Hindi, or mm-hmm. uh, encouraging student to speak in Hindi if the, the student wants that. So those mm-hmm. kind of thing in say 50, 55 minutes lecture, some three four minutes of that kind of uh, short sentence, short sentence. That that was one, and mm-hmm. then the second was of course uh, since I used to be very friendly with the students and asking too many questions during that 55 minutes. And uh, while asking questions, I used to walk into the galleries of students, not from the stage only. Mm-hmm. 
So since I was very friendly and I had given the offer that anyone can meet me outside the classroom in my office or anywhere. So students used to come to me. So that was one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for some difficult topics, some topics, I used to make videos in Hindi. Okay. okay. Say method of images. I knew that mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a slightly much more, uh, more imagination or mm -hmm. things are needed. So, so yeah. the dialogue should uh, has to be at a deeper level. So mm -hmm. I, used to, I, I, I made videos for that. And then that video I shared with all the students, whoever needs it. I see. Wow. Uh, that, that, that was truly inspirational, sir. Uh, hopefully, uh, like that's something that can be incorporated at a uh, larger level. <laughs> so, sir, uh, just on a light, to make things a little lighter, uh, we'll just uh, take a, um, a qu question from you about your memories uh, from college. Uh, because uh, right now we are uh, looking at having two batches who haven't started their campus life and they are operating uh, from a remote setting uh, from from their home. So just to lighten up the spirits a little, maybe if you could share some memories from college, uh, if, if there were some fun memories that you had, some things that you did in college that uh, may be embarrassing, maybe. That will add to the disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> so they will be missing all the fun. Of course, yeah. the college is a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. uh, school college is a wonderful place. You can learn things from internet nowadays, mm. but then uh, the kind of uh, company, the kind of uh, passing time with the students, the fellow friends, teachers, discussing things on various uh, topics under the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so, so those things are, and they are very important in fact in developing the personality. Mm -hmm. They're very important, and uh, but. But it's okay. It's okay. If it is not available, it's not available. That's all. Now, I would like to share that uh, I was admitted to my BSc program in 1970. Okay. And uh, I should have gotten my BSc degree in 1973, mm -hmm. three-year course. But I got that degree in 1975. Okay. Right. So, Two years, my syllabus was over. Mm -hmm. That was that was okay, fine. Two years, there were no teaching, there were no classes, and there were no examinations, oh. and there was no pandemic. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. It was all political because okay. of political issues. Because of uh, agitation against that uh, government, state government, and later central government, mm -hmm. which is popularly known as Bihar agitation. Mm -hmm. So all these things were suspended. Okay. Right? Oh, yeah. But that that was very, very advantageous for me. See. Because I had no pressure from anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go to the college and, and spend time there. Mm -hmm. the, the examinations are not in sight. Of course, that's not the case as of now. Mm -hmm. But I'm just telling the situation. Situation can, any, any situation can come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so those two years uh, I spent in really learning, studying, developing myself, Okay, coming out with uh, ideas working on that, mm -hmm. reading different, different kinds of books, collecting books. There was no Google. Mm -hmm. In fact, Google has created more problems <laughs> ah, because it's not authentic. No? True. Uh, if, if you Google search, it will say that uh, 15 lakhs and uh, 75,000 answers in 0.02 mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. Now, out of those 15 lakh uh, answers, maybe uh, 60% of them are correct, 40% of them are wrong, 60% which are correct. In mm -hmm. that, how many are understandable? How many are not understandable? Only the correctness is not a GK question who was prime minister, first prime minister of India. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, if, if you have a book, okay, fine, yes. And if the author is reputed, the publisher okay. is good, you know that whatever, whatever is right. written is authentic. 
Right. All right. So I collected books and read the various things. This side, that side, that side, that side. That helped me in my MSc. That ten by ten was not because I was uh, I was uh, did something that semester. Did something in that semester, mm. right? The mm. kind of confidence that I got from my those, those two years of uh, isolation mm. that that helped me. <laughs> 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 and like uh, our experimental skill test two zero two zero, now we are repeating it now in mm -hmm. that zero two one also. So that mm -hmm. process has been initiated. If mm -hmm. you can come out with some new things mm -hmm. in a new situation, think of something new, right? Right. right. <laughs> the aunt will yeah. give you the skills, the strength, mm -hmm. uh, uh, your your preparation for fighting different conditions, difficult conditions will be uh, much better. So utilize that. Utilize <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then I, I'll just quickly finish up the last uh, question uh, that I had with, uh, with me. Uh, so th there's this huge uh, um, like cultural thing or a stereotype, I don't know, associated with teaching. But uh, like if uh, like right now our our lives, particularly young students, are influenced a lot by social media, and the. Uh, uh, and the, and they find careers lucrative depending on how it's represented in uh, these platforms like uh, finance or some tech job or you know uh, getting a huge salary from a iit or something they find those things lucrative and start working towards that and uh, because of which maybe at some point in india uh, teaching as a career is not as is not looked as a sought after uh, field maybe because of the glamour associate not associated with it or something like that that has a lasting impact on students who are uh, a little young and who are thinking of what careers to pursue so sir is that something that can be mitigated maybe uh, uh, at a school level or a college level or through social media using these platforms to make teaching a little more um, uh, maybe uh, known to people that it's a good career to uh, think of and to pursue it, or uh, like what could we do to, uh, like, sort of, uh, you know, maybe maybe this could have an impact on increasing number of faculties in our Indian institutes and stuff like that. We are facing a dearth, so in that sense, uh, if you could. Yeah. yeah, it's a very difficult uh, question and difficult topic mm -hmm. uh, because uh, if we go for campaigning that teaching is a good career i think mm -hmm. we are not uh, doing it uh, justice of course competent yes. enough mm -hmm. to handle those uh, as you said very lucrative offers by different platforms because they are in that business right right mm -hmm. they are they, they, in that business mm -hmm. they they have, they have money they have mm -hmm. uh, knowledge they they have marketing strategies they have mm -hmm. expertise our expertise is mostly academic. Right. So if we want to promote that teaching is a good career, mm -hmm. we will not compete with uh, those people who are saying that, no, no, this is not a good career. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I this see. will not, this will not work. What okay. will work is, what is, will work is the existing set of our faculty in schools, colleges at various levels, mm -hmm. at various levels uh, from, uh, uh, IITs, ICERs, and uh, prestigious institutions, mm -hmm. to our universities, to our colleges, colleges in remote areas, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, our higher secondary schools, our primary school teachers, middle school teachers. This teaching faculty that we have in India, they are putting in the classroom, they are putting up faces which tell that this is not a good career. Okay. I see. <laughs> right, right, right. Makes sense. Yeah. As the existing teacher, yeah. as a teacher uh, teaching for, uh, say, 15 years, if mm -hmm. I am going to cl in my classroom, and if now I am not happy with, uh, my body language says that I am not happy with my profession. Mm -hmm. Then the student, the 50 students who are sitting there, they will naturally see that, okay, no, this is not a good career. So our best bet is to, mm -hmm. to go to the teachers. And there's no, I will not blame the teachers. They have gone through the university system, the same university system, the same college system. 
and the same yeah. high school system yeah. and their their imaginations was not uh, taken care of mm. they were asked to cram things without understanding they were uh, they were asked to write things in examination without understanding and now they have become teacher so it's not that uh, their fault Right. but what the policy makers can plan is have a massive teachers orientation programs at all levels from primary school to mm -hmm. institutions okay and their the their joy of learning uh, that uh, which they missed in their student life now we mm -hmm. can provide that is never late right. it is never late and in mm -hmm. fact through shiksha dupa and other platforms i am doing that i am trying to do it do that at my own limited capacity right it should be a nationwide program and mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, in in that limited uh, effort uh, mm -hmm. i have seen that yes the transformation is is very much possible i have hundreds i have hundreds of teachers who have uh, absolutely changed Uh, absolutely change their outlook and mm -hmm. now they are doing much more innovative things before going into the classroom they are moving, making much more discussions among themselves in staff rooms is doable it can be done and i have done it uh, in the last say one decade uh, some uh, i don't know so at least at least 5 600 the teachers have changed their course mm -hmm. many of the of the two students who were doing btech and then planning to go here and there somehow right. they, they they also came into the stream and they switched to physics teaching people left their job the company right. job where right. they had to do four five days of work and uh, and draw salaries huge salaries all right. right they left their job and they are now in teaching it is doable it is doable yes so this is the uh, this is the Uh, the fight that we can win. Hmm? If you want to really ask yeah. me <laughs> how the teachers' uh, teaching right. career yeah. or scientific career yeah. or research career can be, people yeah. can be convinced of that. Yeah. Yes, it has to come through improving quality of teaching. the teachers, existing teachers. I see. thank you so much for those words, sir. Sir, this is a question from Kushagra. I think he's a yeah, he's a twenty M student. So uh, it's just a small fun question, sir. Uh, I'm not sure if you know. There's this small uh, YouTube channel. Uh, no, there's this famous YouTube channel known as TVF. They had made a uh, yeah. video about you, uh, a day in the life of uh, H.C. Verma. I, I, I know. I know. Uh, yes, sir. He he was asking whether you have seen the video, and if yes, then it was there any favorite moment uh, from that video uh, that you <laughs> enjoyed a lot. <laughs> no, I enjoyed the entire video. Uh -huh. I enjoyed the video, but uh, I saw it uh, several years. I think it's several years uh, yeah, yeah. created. So yeah. that time itself, I have seen, and several things I remember even now and enjoy. Uh, right. One, was, one was that uh, no salary because the work done is zero. Uh, uh -huh, after, yeah, yeah. After all, <laughs> you finally land up here itself. So right. no displacement, no work done, no salary. So that is yes. one. <laughs> and then uh, putting the friction coefficient after uh, their wiping uh -huh, while wiping <laughs> <laughs> so there were several uh, very nice uh, moments and in that right. video i had it 